how to fix Fortnite blue screen of death. So if you're playing Fortnite in your PC and let's say you're installing Fortnite or closing the game or playing in between, a lot of players are getting blue screen of death with different error code. In this video, I'll show you some simple steps in order to fix this problem. First and foremost, what you have to do is, so irrespective of when you're getting the blue screen of that, whether you're installing the game or whether you're launching the game or you're in the game, or let's say you're closing the game, very first thing which I would recommend that you open your Epic Games launcher and then go to library. And from here, you have to find Fortnite. And I'm gonna click on this three dots, go to options. And you have to do two things. Make sure high resolution textures and pre-download stream assets, both of them are unticked. For many players I have seen these two are ticked and because of these two they are facing majority of problems. Now it's obvious that you won't be able to play the game in DirectX 12 which is perfectly fine but your game will work perfectly. It may downgrade a little bit of the quality of the game or the gameplay but you will not have any kind of issues. So make sure high resolution textures and pre-download stream assets both of them are unticked. After that click apply and then you try your game. See if that helps. Next step what you have to do is you have to go to your search and type in run and over here you have to type the command percentage app data percentage click ok go to app data go to local and find fortnite game which is over here double click and open it go to save and you're gonna find one file which is this one which is a pipeline cache file which is basically a cache file it's not required you just have to select it and permanently delete this file so make sure this file is been deleted that is the first step which you have to do once you have deleted this particular file you have to go back and this time you have to go to epic games launcher saved and you have to double click and open this web cache folder. Double click and open it and make sure you delete everything from here. So you have to delete the cache files from the Epic Games Launcher folder and you have to also delete that one pipeline cache file in the Fortnite folder. Both of them you're gonna find in your local drive which you can open directly from the app data. So once you have deleted this, make sure you give a restart to your PC and then launch your game. See if that fixes your problem. Next step, what I would recommend is, if you ever have blue screen of that, irrespective of Fortnite or any other game, and if in your PC you have two RAM sticks, either you remove one of the RAM sticks and then try to launch your game, play a couple of matches, see if you're facing the issue, or you can try to shift the places of the RAM. So if let's say your first RAM is the A channel and the second RAM is the B channel, just shift the second RAM to the A channel and bring the first RAM to the B channel. You just have to shift them. Just give it a nice clean and then shift them and then you try to launch your game because these kind of issues may happen due to memory. So make sure you do that. Once your RAM sticks have swapped their places, then you open your Epic Games Launcher and then try your game. See if that helps. Next step, what you have to do is you have to open up your PC and then come to your C drive and you have to open program files x86, double click and open it and you have to open the easy anti-cheat. This is one and the easy anti-cheat EOS. So what you have to do from both these folders, open any one of them and see which one is opening. As you can see, my EOS is not opening. So I'm gonna go back to the easy anti-cheat and double click and open this. So this is the setup. So I can choose the game. As you can see, all these, the game basically has code. So they don't have the name. So I have two games installed that use the easy anti-cheat. So one obviously is Fortnite and probably there's some other game which is using this easy anti-cheat. So what I would recommend you do is that you can click on uninstall and then install easy anti-cheat or you can just go back and simply delete these two folders. Once you launch the game, Easy Anti-Cheat will automatically be installed and then you try your game. I'm pretty sure you're not gonna get any blue screen of death because blue screen of death generally happens in Fortnite due to Easy Anti-Cheat. So make sure you delete these two folders and then launch your game. It will automatically be installed and then your game will work perfectly fine. Next step, what you have to do is, so I didn't know about this, that this issue can happen because of this as well. So there are different kind of desktop virtualization apps. A lot of them are there and many players are having this issue because of those apps and once they uninstall that app the game is working perfectly fine like there are thousands of apps like that and i can't name one particular one because it may happen that the issue is not happening because of that app but some other players the issue is happening due, due to that app so what you can do is in your pc you check whether you have any kind of virtualization app it can be even a small app paid app or let's say a free one you have got or you have just download a free one just to check obviously there are a lot of them so it's very difficult to name them once you have found that app use any kind of uninstaller a lot of them in the internet 
internet just download a free uninstaller and simply reboot everything like obviously you're gonna get options even the registry files even the saved files every single thing you remove that and once it is removed and then you launch your game i'm pretty sure you're never gonna get any blue screen of that now if i have to name one now many players got this problem fixed just by uninstalling the citrix workspace so if you have that program installed just try uninstalling it and then see whether it helps in fixing your problem if so many players are getting it fixed i'm pretty sure it's gonna help you as well next step you have to go to the c drive again again open the program files x86 open the easy anti-cheat uos right click on this and send it to the desktop or you can simply just create a shortcut over here like this and once it is done you have to go to properties now here you have to put a command right here in the target box just after the double quotes you have to give a little bit of space and write the word repair once it is done you have to just simply click on apply and click ok after that you have to double click and open this once your easy anti-cheat opens then you choose the game which is fortnite and then simply click on install easy anti-cheat if it is showing or if it is not showing simply uninstall the service and then install it again then you launch a game see if that fixes your problem next step what you can try is if you have any kind of windows antivirus software or let's say even the windows defender make sure that your easy anti-cheat eos folder or that setup file must be excluded from your antivirus program if it is taking it as an antivirus and blocking it then you will face this issue so make sure if you have any kind of antivirus software or even a free one do check it out whether it is taking that eos easy anti-cheat folder or that file as a malware program which is a false positive so you can do is you can open that antivirus software even windows Windows Defender and make the easy anti-cheat EOS exclude it from that software. After that, you can launch your game, see if that helps. Next step, what you have to do is, you have to make sure that you have updated your Windows version to the latest one. Or, if you have the latest one installed and still getting the issue, simply roll back just the update that you have got and then you try your game. Because it may happen that sometimes, due to some glitches or bugs from the Windows update, it tries to stop some process and due to which you're gonna get these kind of issues of blue screen of that. So make sure if you don't have the latest update make sure to update it to the latest version or just simply roll back the update that you have got and then you try your game see if that helps next step what you can try is now this issue generally may happen to a lot of users irrespective of whatever code you're getting in the blue screen of death is due to a corrupted hard drive so for this what you can do is you can directly go to your task manager and as you can see i have three disk drives and as you can see all of them are ssds and this is the c drive d e and then the f drive i have so once you have opened this and you can see all your drive names coming up over here and then you have to click on this open resource monitor over here and then go to the disk and you have to check whether all the drives are working perfectly fine or not if you see any kind of problems or any kind of bugs or issues over here in the drive then probably that might be an issue or if this is looking way complicated you can download a lot of free softwares are available which are disk checkers you can simply type disk checker in google and you're gonna download a free software there are a lot of them so you can download any one of them and just scan your drive once all of them if you have multiple drives if you have one single drive then it's fine you can just scan that but if you have multiple drives i would recommend you to scan every single one and if it has any problem that particular software will detect and you will know that the drive is the problem otherwise one thing you can try if you have an external drive drive and you know that that drive is fine then you can simply copy and paste fortnite over there and from there you try to launch the game if it is working and not seeing any blue screen of that then i'm pretty sure your drive which is there in the pc or the laptop that is corrupted or that has some issue that should be replaced so you can go with any one of the method if you are comfortable with the task manager you can do with this or you can download the software or you can just put your game into some external drive and from there you can launch the game if you don't get blue screen of that then i would recommend you to change your drive and then i'm pretty sure it's going to work perfectly fine next step what you can do is now this is a little bit of advanced one or you may or may not know about this whatever ram you buy directly from the store that is a default in a certain base clock so different base clocks are there for a particular ram so let's assume that your ram is 2000 megahertz for example in your bios if you go in your bios and there is a step to switch on xmp so we have an option to enable xmp so basically it is extreme memory profiling so what it will do is it will boost up your memory clock to a certain level so that you can get more out of it or more performance out of it so if you're getting blue screen of that and by knowing or by unknowing you have turned on xmp then i would recommend you to go to the bios in the settings tab and you're going to find the xmp profiling turn it off completely once it is off then you restart your pc and then you try your game see if that helps next step what you can try is you're going to go to your search bar and type in run and over here you have to type the command msconfig 
and press enter from here go to boot and choose advanced options now this is very important so depending on the number of processors you have in your cpu so these are generally the number of processors so if let's say you have 4 core 8 core 10 core 12 core whatever number of cpus you have just for example make sure you try reducing them one by one or do check here that how many number of processors are getting used in your pc i have seen players who have 10 core processors or, or let's say 16 core processors for example and they've only used four or three or two so make sure you check how many processors you have if you have more than what it is used so if you choose a maximum value if the maximum value is selected over here try reducing the number one by one like for example if you have 10 processors make it eight so you try going it with even numbers eight six four and then you play your game see if you're getting the blue screen of death so that will be it for the video hope it helps and if you're still having blue screen of death you can put down in the comment section or i would recommend you to go to my x handle put a screenshot make sure that i can see the error code very clearly and don't forget to tag me i'll try to help you out as soon as possible that will be it for the video thanks for watching bye bye